subjects, this is the Lord High Majesty speaking. When I heard there was going to be a movie starring me, I couldn't believe it. But my mean, horrible parents... Don't be horrid, Henry. My mean, horrible parents wouldn't let me take time off school. So they had to find someone else to be me. <laughs> One action. My name's Henry. 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 Hurry, Henry. Hmm? No prizes for guessing this. <laughs> so, who did they get to play me? I'm Theo Stevenson, and I played Henry in Hurry, Henry the movie. I love the role of Harold Henry uh, because I read the books as a kid and I love the character and uh, yeah, it was yeah, definitely something that I would have loved to have played before I even heard about the fact they were making a movie. This is one of my most favourite TV shows ever. I watch it every week and nothing can stop me. At the time I was about 12. I think that because everyone thinks he's horrid. You horrid boy! That horrid boy. And because he's got perfect Peter always there with him. Henry? Go away, worm! Ah! He makes him look bad, makes him look horrid. Get up those stairs right now and do your homework, otherwise there'll be no more television for a week. Third it before. A month. Oh, come on. A year. No way! Uh, so I had a few auditions for that, and then I had a couple more, which, yeah, were a lot more intense, you know, uh, read to more of the lines. The advice that I give to my 12-year-old self auditioning for a movie uh, would be to learn your lines, you know, don't be uh, too cool for anything. Apart from too cool for school, obviously. Yeah, throw yourself into it as much as possible. Be fearless. Uh, don't worry about the way you look. Um, just, you know, definitely prepare and think about the character as much as possible. And action. Get up those stairs right now. So I get up those stairs right now. And where I find Peter, who's of course practicing his cello. And I say, Hey, that's not bad, for a smelly, nappy baby. And then Peter says, and Mum says, Don't be horrid, Henry. So then I go to my room and do my homework. I'm joking. Why well, do I want to do my homework? I'm way too busy. Whoa! I'm rocking out. Someday I'm going to be a rock star. I definitely found out that uh, horrid Henry definitely has a heart. Because... Because... Well, because it's not Brick House or Our Lady Giddy Antus. Yeah. And that means it's ours. Yeah, it's ours. Maybe all the things you just said, and way more too. But it's our school, and we can't let anyone take that away from us. Playing him, that's what I realised. And he's a good guy, and he just wants the best. He just doesn't really know how to show it. Right, that's it. You're going to make us all late. I'm not going to make us all late, Mum. I've restocked the lawn rolls, cleaned out my toothbrush holder, dusted under the bath, and now I'm going to polish my shoes. That's a good boy, Peter. Hi, my name's Ross, and uh, my first film was Horrid Henry when I was 10 years old. Peter likes Henry, but every time he tries to be nice or do something kind, Henry's just like, go away. You're supposed to be doing your homework, Henry. Yeah, I am doing my homework, worm. Rockstar's homework. Mum! Don't have to go and tell on me, you know. Yes, I do. Yeah, why? Henry's not doing his homework. Henry! Oh, why have you got to be so perfect, Peter? Um, I think it was about nine auditions. Um, you know, somewhere it was just me, and then somewhere it was like a workshop. And, you know, there was a lot of changing roles as well, so I was first going for Henry and then Peter. Miss Lovely! <laughs> What a lovely surprise. What are you doing here, Miss Lovely? It was sort of a mix um, between me and the character. Um, but yeah, I, 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 I sort of like it, you know, you sort of feel, feel sympathy for him and then, and then you feel a bit of, you know, a bit of, oh, he's a bit too perfect there. And um, so yeah, so I, I, I felt, um, you know, it was good. It's, he's a good character. Hello, 
Hello, my name's Scarlett. Um, my first film was Horrid Henry the Movie when I was 11 years old. Hello. Introducing public enemy number one. Huh? Moody Margaret. Hello. And who's the biggest bogey brain? Margaret and Henry are really kind of arch enemies. And as I already said, said that, shouldn't be just like... to each other. <laughs> Moody Margaret is a very feisty young woman. She is very much the boss. I said we would be late, and now we are late. We're always late, and it's always your fault. But sweetness, we're only Don't late because... you sweetness me. I mean, I was the character. I've always had quite a temper, so it was... It was um, not as hard for me as it was, but I know that I, it's a thought process. You have to think yourself into it. So I think I read a lot of the books. I used to love the Horrid Henry books. She is very key in the action actually, because without her, without her help, Horrid Henry couldn't have saved the school. So I think he loves her and he hates her and she loves him and he she hates him. Going to that school, even if my dad pays double for them to have me. I mean, uh, Henry, you can't do it in my hand now. Uh, to prepare to play the role of Horrid Henry, I remember we had a few rehearsal dates where I'd get together with the rest of the Purple Hand Gang. Oh, oh. That's Ralph, better known as Rude Ralph. My name is Lloyd Howes, and my first film was Horrid Henry, and I was 11 years old. I was playing Rude Ralph, and I was uh, Henry's best friend. And yeah, we had a great time working together with the uh, rest of the Purple Hand Gang. And that's Aerobic Owl, <laughs> Brainy Brian and Beefy Bird. I played Brainy Brian and uh, I was part of Henry's gang. And uh, well, Henry would always get into a lot of trouble, but I would always be there on the guidelines helping with the schemes and I'd be the smarter one of the gang. Allow me, Lord's High Majesty of the Purple Hand Gang. Together, we are the Purple Hand Gang. And we would uh, practice our song, which we performed in the rock concert in the movie. So that was a great way to get into the world. Peter's gang is always behind them. Anytime Peter's in trouble, they're like, oh, we must help him. Hi, my name's Gabriel Webb. I played one of the best boys, Tidy Ted. Hi, my name is Joshua James, and I played Goody Goody Gordon. I played Spotless Sam, who is part of the best boys club. He's going to win the cash prize. Next. So we can give it to Miss Oddbod. You? So she can use it to pay the school inspectors, not to close down our school. Oh. The leader is Perfect Peter. He's quite mature for his age, but he's also very smart. Look, those are Peter's little friends. They love school, and I really, really hate school. Sit so down, order in the classroom, Margaret. Here, yeah, Miss. Susan. Yeah. Oh, here Miss Battleaxe. I'm Helena and I filmed Horrid Henry the movie when I was 12 
and I played Sour Susan. Okay, just a little bit, little bit tighter, little bit tighter, easy, 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 easy. Which was really fun. Um, and it was just a great experience. I made so many friends with all the other kids. <laughs> Try that for size, slug features. Yeah, slug features. Singing soil. Sour Susan. Says who? Me, because I'm. And Moody Margaret, my number one enemy. I'm Kip Egg, and my first movie was Horror 10 with the movie. I was about 10 at the time and I played Vicious Vicky. She was a bum biter who growled a lot, like this. <laughs> oh yeah, that's Vicious Vicky, Sour Susan's sister. <laughs> Sorry, Vicky does that sometimes. I think when I was first told about the character, I, uh, someone said to me, you just gotta go grrr. And I was like, no, that's not how you growl. You growl like this. <laughs> and then I kept it up. She's sort of everyone's least favorite teacher, taken 10 steps further. She can be really mean, and yet at the same time, it's because she wants her children to succeed. Detention. Single detention for failing to do your homework. When you're not on her right side, she can be very troublesome. Double detention for failing to bring in your homework. She's sort of the object of terror in the piece, I would say. And triple detention for getting somebody else to write this note on your behalf about your homework. <gasps> Silence! And when I first read this script, I laughed a lot. Um, it's really well written, it's very succinct, it's tongue in cheek, it's smart, and and for all those reasons, it was fun to play. Boudicca, I just wanted to remind you that the school inspectors will be here again today, and we don't want any more unpleasantness. She's the head teacher of the school. The school is in danger of being closed down, and so she's sort of trying to hold the whole thing together. Ooh, I'll handle this myself, thank you, school inspector. There are a few moments where I, where I go big, and comedy and do funny walks and things. And I do dance on the table at one point. Close your eyes and let go. Miss Lovely! Peter, what a lovely surprise. I, mean, I just, she was lovely. <laughs> I almost feel like the fairy godmother of the uh, <laughs> of Horrid Henry. It's um, it's nice to be liked. <laughs> well, how lovely is that? You really are my best boys. She's trying to be a good, honest teacher, and unfortunately, she gets fired, which leads her to then get a job at Vic Van Rinkle's school, which is the evil school in the story. Welcome to Brick House School. Here at Brick House, we pride ourselves on tradition and accomplishment. She sort of realises something's not quite right and ends up sort of becoming a hero together with the kids. Miss Lovely and I are going to have a little chat, Peter, while you continue with your tour of the school. Uh, don't forget your good as gold book, Peter. My good as gold book? Headmaster Vic Van Winkle. He's 
very vain. Looks like my little plan is working. And he is obsessed more than anything with money. It won't be long before the parents of all those children will be paying me lots of money for them to come here to brick our school. I had a maths teacher who was pretty vicious because I was absolutely hopeless at maths all through my life. I still can't do my timetables. So um, this is an homage to him, yeah. <laughs> it's not just me who's in the movie. There's Dad, Prissy Polly, vomiting Vera too, Rich Aunt Ruby, and Stock Up Steve, Great Aunt Greta, and Mum. She looks quite flushed and stressed. So I can do that. She's quite a fair mum. I think she loves them both equally. I said, get up! I'm getting up, mum! Henry pushes her to the limit more than Peter. Right, that's it. You're going to make yeah. us late. Peter's always wanting to go to school, do his homework, get out of bed. I'm not going to make us all late, mum. I used to the windows, cleaned out my toothbrush holder, dusted under the bath. And Henry's the complete opposite. And now I'm going to brush my shoes. That's a good boy, Peter. The casting director saw me coming out of a supermarket with loads of bags and I probably looked quite stressed then. I think that's why he put me up for the audition. Bad news? No, rather good news, actually. Mum and Dad are always nagging, always tell me what to do. Don't be hoarish what they say. Slightly put upon father. <laughs> Obviously, he has a horrid boy and a perfect boy. Don't do it, Henry. I'll give you all the pocket money in the world if you don't do it. I can't believe you just said that. We see somebody who, at the beginning of the film who is completely out of control of, of his son and by the end of the film is immensely proud of him. Did someone say Polly put the kettle on? <laughs> Prissy Polly and vomiting Vera. Could life get any better? Prissy Polly is... Henry, Howard Henry's cousin. She's got a baby called Vomiting Vera and she's just kind of very happy. She's kind of nips in and out of her family home with this baby that just keeps puking up everywhere, but she's still quite happy regardless. <laughs> My character is stuck up Steve. As the name implies, he's very stuck up, um, very condescending of Henry and Peter and his cousins um, and that side of the family. Sort of overall, he's, he's generally a snob and just looks down his nose at everyone. I must have said please at least 52 million times and he still won't budge. <laughs> you see, clever and charming. <laughs> Rich on Ruby and stuck up Steve, my favourite cousin, not... <laughs> I saw the cartoon drawing of Ed Banger, and it was basically me. He's like a, in a rock band called the Killer Boy Rats. He's the lead singer, obviously. I <laughs> don't play drummers and um, wouldn't play a bass player. And basically the kids, Henry and his gang, all sort of idolised him. I thought, well, I know a lot of children. It'll be quite fun to be in Horrid Henry, not tell anyone, and then have the 
freak them out when they go and see it in 3D. And they see my ridiculous face coming at them in 3D. Oh, sorry. Sorry, excuse me. Yeah, I know you. You're one of them killer boy rats, unless I'm very much mistaken. You're not very much mistaken. <gasps> Presenter one. Presenter, Presenter one. two. Uh, yeah. Um, How did you get one? So our, our parts in this film are very integral to the whole plot because it's all of the kids in the film's favourite TV show. So our parts are larger than life, uh, absolutely off the wall, um, sinister, but a little bit caring as well to the kids. We are the kids' best friend, but we're also slightly creepy to be hosting this big kids' TV show. And the only way Henry can, of course, um, save the school is by winning the game show. Uh, Dick and Dom were absolutely fantastic. Um, I've always been a fan of them. I still am. His name was Dick, do, 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 do. his name was Dom, do, 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 do. and they like to suck do, 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 do. their thumbs. Do, 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 do. <laughs> don't go giving them kisses, because they're a bit whiffy. But like I said before, I can't keep going anymore. His name was Dick, do, 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 do. his name was Dom, do, 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 do. and they like to suck each other's thumbs. Thumbs, 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 thumbs. Yes! <laughs> I remember a few times I was laughing too much in the scenes that we had to cut and start again. Um, so I'm sorry, but uh, that's, that's what they do. Uh, it's the right answer! Another time, oh, oh. Yeah. The pop <laughs> of doom! <laughs> the best thing about doing Horror Henry for me was probably the bit when we had to work with the teachers. Henry? Yes, Miss Battlex. Teachers first. Angelica ate with us during lunch. Um, she didn't take it too seriously at all. She kind of came and, like, before we were introduced to her, she just kind of came up and said, Oh, hi, I'm Angelica. Hello, what's your name? And she'd always give you tips and everything. You want that? You heard me, Margaret. We can all go home early. Yes! Well, the actor, David Schneider, who played Soggy Sid, really helped me with my scene because I was saying, I was tricking everyone into thinking I had snakes in my trunk when it really I had the band's uh, instruments. And he told me, like, try, try get your, try being more mischievous about it. Oh no! It's empty! My snakes have escaped! Someone say snakes! I hate snakes! <laughs> Don't panic! Um, for me, because I was in many scenes with Richard E. Grant, what really helped was like almost the quality of acting that he gave. Um, when he's trying to make us jump, feel scared, he literally does. <laughs> we don't have to act. <laughs> it's literally just reacting. I had great fun with Perfect Peter, who uh, has a great sense of humour. And he was very amused by something I said and kept repeating it all day. <laughs> and we had a laugh about that. I just love the energy of the young people. Um, but like anyone, um, you do get told off from time to time if you kind of overstep the mark. Get up those stairs right now and do your homework, otherwise there'll be no more television for a week. As I say, I didn't know the guy before. <laughs> Come on, mate. That's <laughs> but no, I, you know, I, I, I was just like, right, this, this guy, and 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 it was, you know, people just going, what, what, what? They've got, they've got him on set, and I'm like, still, who, who is he? And then as soon as I saw the face, hit me. Okay, here we are. Right, ready to go then, Peter. Yes, Dad. It looks very big though. Well, don't worry, you'll be okay once you get in there. Okay. I, I thought he was uh, adorably hyperactive. Well, we're just doing a close-up on um, the vomit. It's disgusting. It went on me. They seem never to wear out. So, um, it's good. It's, you know, it's very... I, I've worked a lot with children, so I enjoy their company enormously, which probably says more about my mental state than theirs. And we'll be paying lots of money to come here to break our school. <laughs> Not going to that mouldy old brick house. When he 
see things through the night vision goggles and have to take the biscuits. Yeah, that was great. I did actually have to do a lot of yo-yoing practice, but I got pretty good at it. Watching Angelica Houston get gunged. All the gooing. People are constantly being gunged. <gasps> I'm gonna regret saying this, but I actually enjoyed the scene where I got wet. Check this out. Please, that'll never hit me. Where Margaret and Henry were throwing their water balloons. My face. Ah! She was soaking. Henry! I'll get you, Henry! I was just like, oh, that's fantastic. My favourite part was falling out of the window and all the kids laughing at me. I appear to get my job back um, and uh, I present myself as a man. I had a good time with it. It kind of grew on me. I got to dance. I was totally making it up. I was really going along. Um, so we'll see. It either's going to be my favourite or my least favourite. I think my favourite scene is the, the very end scene where the whole house is dancing. It was so much fun. The appeal of this movie will be us. <laughs> I will steal some children to go and, to go and watch it. Yep. He's an adorable little boy who just can't help doing things wrong. No! Is there anybody else who failed to bring in their homework? It's not easy being me we'll Wash your face and brush your hair we'll Nag, 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 it's just not fair I'm horrid Henry Sometimes we screw, I'm gonna rule And when I'm king, I'll do my thing And then my life will be so sweet I'm horrid Henry Na, 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 na The purple hand gang rules okay it's not easy being me, I'm horrid Henry. Na na na, na na na, the purple hand gang rules okay. It's not easy being me, I'm horrid Henry. It's just such an uplifting story. I mean, Henry's always going to be like a hero in the end. I'm a hero! <laughs> Every scene, there's something happens and it's out of the ordinary. So, I've only got one more thing to say to you lot. Enjoy and be horrid. Really, really horrid.
Peace out and I love you. You're the best.